Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a fairly poor sounding stereo microphone and turn it into a better sounding stereo microphone. Okay, so this video is going to be in two parts. The first part is what I'm doing right now, which is going to be the deconstruction of this cheap stereo microphone and then the rebuilding or modification of it using two high quality capsules to make the thing sound better. And then the second part of this video, which is going to be elsewhere, is done by my YouTube Bezzy, Mr. Ian Craig, in which he will be doing practical demonstrations of just how good the microphone sounds. So what I'm gonna do right now is to get into the deconstruction and rebuild process for the microphone. I will then come back at the end with some little bits of technical detail and also the links to where you can go and see my YouTube Bezzy, Mr. Ian Craig, do the audio examples of this microphone. So here are the three main components that we're going to be using for this kind of build modification. And the first one is the microphone body itself. Now with this, these are just really cheap and quite nasty sounding microphones, but obviously we're gonna make it better. So what I'm gonna do is put a couple of links in the descriptions below for this one. Realistically, if you can find the same mic elsewhere and it's cheaper, just buy the cheapest one. It really doesn't matter because all we're using it for is, is, is its body and its cabling that's inside. But the main components are these two here which are both Primo EM172 capsules. That's the back of the capsule, this one, and this one up here is the front of the capsule, as it were. Now, these are from micbooster.com, and I will have links to these in the descriptions below. Now, for this particular build, I'm not using a matched pair. I'm just using two that I had anyway, which are unmatched. But in my experience, these don't drift very far apart from one another anyway. But if you like, you can buy a matched pair from Mike Booster. Booster. In my case, I'm just using two that I had anyway. Now, the other thing as well, just worth mentioning, the microphone that I'm using for this part of the video being the build part of the video is actually another Mic Booster microphone, and this one is the Clippy EM172 Lavalier, which also has the exact same capsule in as what I'm going to use in this build. Okay, so now on to the next part of the build. So the next thing that we need to do now is to get access to the inside of the microphone so we can replace its capsules. So what we do, if we have a look underneath here, there's two screws. There's one on either side here. So there's one screw and then there's another screw. Now what we're gonna do, we're only gonna be dealing with one side here because the same thing happens to the other side. So just pick one side, any side will do because it's exactly the same for both. In this instance, I'm gonna choose this side. So I'm just gonna unscrew that and then this plastic part here will just lift off. So after we've taken the screw out, here's what we're left with. So there's the screw we've just taken out. There's the plastic end cap off one side of the microphone. And now what we've done, we've exposed some cable and the capsule. So what we need to do now is just desolder the red and the black cable from the capsule there. So go ahead and do that. Now that we've desoldered the original capsule from one side, what we need to do now is take one of our Primo EM172 capsules and connect that to the red and the black cable. So the first thing that we need to do here is pad one on the Primo needs to be tinned. So what I'm gonna do now is just play a quick video which is made by Mike Booster which shows you how to tin that pad. Now that you've connected your cables on, you should have something that looks remotely like this one. I'm gonna say remotely, there's a fair chance that yours is gonna look better. Uh, Cause like I say, I'm pretty bad at soldering, but this will work. Now, the only thing that I would say is that the only concern you should have when doing this is just to make sure that none of the pads kind of bleed out onto one another. And especially 
This pad here, pad two, which is live, which has got the red cable on, just make sure that when it kind of melts, when you put your solder on, that the solder doesn't bleed over and touch the outside of the microphone or any of the other pads. And make sure that none of the other pads are touching one another as well. And then you should be good to go on that. So the next thing now is to try and feed this inside the end cap of the microphone. Right, for this section, what it is, I've got to put the camera into automatic focus mode because I really can't concentrate on what I'm doing here trying to focus and such. But basically what you do, you just feed the capsule inside one of the end pieces like that. And then what you do, kind of get it straight so it's pointing straight down towards the end of it. And then just use a little tool, could be a little screwdriver, could be a pair of tweezers or anything, or you know anything really that'll fit in there, metal or something that's sturdy. And then just start pushing the capsule down into the microphone. And what will happen at some point, it'll kind of like, it, it almost jams itself in. Now I know that might sound not very like technical and professional, but it's great because what happens is it'll just hold the mic in place so as you can see there, I've now jammed it in down at the bottom. So basically that's that's kind of like, well, that's just how you do it. I know it doesn't look particularly professional and good and whatnot, but it definitely works. So now what we need to do is now just simply, let's put that back on the end and screw it back up again. So once you've done the one side of the mic, screwed it all back and then done the exact same thing for the other side of the mic with the other capsule, you are then left with your new modified stereo microphone. Now the other thing I would also do here is to recommend that you get yourself some kind of either foam filter or dead cat. Both of these are actually designed for handheld microphones, you know, just similar to like SM58 style mics. And both of these will actually fit over that very nicely. Or at the very least, get yourself a couple of lavalier foam filters as well, which just one pops on one side and the other pops on the other side. And basically what I'll do, I'll have some links to some of these options as well in the descriptions. Okay, so there we have it then, how to deconstruct and rebuild this microphone and turn it into a good microphone. Now just a couple of quick technical points before I carry on. The original like kind of configuration for this microphone and the new configuration for it are exactly the same as in they both require a little bit of power. Now this is exactly the same for a lavalier microphone as well and other similar types of microphones. So when you plug these into the likes of a camcorder or say like a Zoom H1 or just another field recorder or maybe a DSLR or anything like that, what happens is they take a little bit of power down the mic cable from whatever the devices you're plugging them into. So if you plug this into a camcorder, which has got a left and right input on a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack plug or jack socket or a DSLR or any kind of other audio recorder, it will power the microphone. That's the first thing to understand about this mic. Now, the second thing is, both of the capsules inside are omnidirectional. And that basically means that they pick up in every conceivable direction. Now, with a capsule like that in a microphone like this and two of them, it gives a very specific type of stereo field or stereo pickup response. And as to how that sounds, we're going to hear that with Mr. Ian Craig. So that's my segue to Ian's piece right now. This link up here will take you to Ian's video where you can hear, well, well, exactly how this microphone sounds and determine as to whether or not you think it sounds any good. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda like get off now because you need to hurry up and get off yourself and go and watch Ian's part of this two-parter for this microphone. So anyway, without further ado, I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.